Hey everyone, Sir Terrible here again. Today's gonna be our third video with Bello Betty. And over the past two days, I'm showing you all how fun this aggression is with this deck. It's like so fun just going all in. You really have to just burn bright. Like you have to just kill them as fast as you can because you're gonna run out of resources very, very quickly. Now, in this matchups today, we are gonna go against, I think we have like three or four games against Enel which are going to be, you know, very, uh, very hard. And then we have one matchup against the Mirror. So hope you enjoy those games coming soon. If you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. And over the next few weeks, we're going to continue posting OPO5. Tomorrow, we're going to move on to Rocinante. So if you want to stick around and watch them, make sure that you subscribe below. Enjoy the games. In this match, we're going against Enel. Ooh, okay. So this is going to be... This is going to be kind of crazy. This is going to be very, very crazy. I like the Bello Betty. Because we have the Searcher, I think I'm obligated to keep this hand. They whiffed here. That's already good for us. Kuma. Ivankov. Has to be Ivankov, right? Has to be Ivankov. Just lets us fill up our board. The problem with Ivankov is that if the opponent has Gedatsu... You notice how they didn't attack? So the reason they didn't attack is because the opponent has Gedatsu. And with the Gedatsu, they can KO the Ivankov. So that's what the opponent is looking to do here. But I'm going to just play Sanji. Hmm. Or do I actually go ahead and play the Limburg? Let's play Sanji. I actually don't mind the Sanji losing to the Gedatsu, right? So this is telegraphing a Gedatsu from the opponent. That's why they didn't want to develop the Ivankov. If the opponent doesn't get Datsu here, whoa, it's just a Shirahoshi? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. So we can Ivankov, use the Bello Betty ability, attack with Sanji and Bello Betty, and summon. I guess like summon a Limburg at this point, to be honest, instead of a, instead of a Karatsu, so that the Limburg can attack and KO their units. And then we still have two more done, so we can actually get this one to seven or get that one to seven. Uh, let's attack for five here first. See if the opponent passes like the Thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure that, like, at this point, if the opponent play, if the opponent actually plays Gedatsu at this point, I think I'm chilling. Like, I actually think I'm chilling. I guess I need to keep this for blockers, potentially. But I guess we have the Limburg. Hmm. Let's trash the second Limburg. Let's go like this. Uh, we'll go like this. Just pop down this Limburg. This is going to attack for 7. This is going to attack for 8. Opponent is down to one life already, and we still have four units. Even if the opponent has the Gedatsu to kill the Ivankov, I think I'm fine. They can kill this with the Pudding. I am not gonna let you get that. I, I want you to put the I, I want you to put value into this attack. Yeah, this the Gedatsu. Again, we expect that. And they have the Boss Cup Mochi. Okay, so I did not expect the Boss Cup Mochi. That one I'll agree was a little bit unexpected. The opponent has the one life. Can we get them to zero here? If we get them to zero and play the Morley. So we can go five, eight, seven, eight, nine, nine. Let's start with five. Okay. Yeah, let's go nine, nine, right? Let's uh let's get rid of the Karatsu. I think I want to keep the Rusher. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine. If the opponent gets a blocker here or a page, I'm kind of in trouble. Otherwise, it's gonna be three cards from their hand. I guess opponent could have the Yamato. This could just be the Yamato. Uh, let's put one more here. The Yamato will give them a life back. And then let's play Morley. We have the Rushers and we'll have a person that can go through blockers. 
The Yamato will let them get the life back while also killing Sanji, and they can then kill Bello Betty. Ooh, okay, they can just kill the Marley, right? They can just kill the Marley. Yeah, if they have Yamato, they win the game. Yeah, they have the Yamato. So they get to win the game. I think no, there's nothing we can do here. I guess we can technically go... We can technically go for the Rusher. I'm forcing to have a second Yamato. The opponent is playing is smart, not attacking into my life. Like, at all. Yeah, not attacking into my life is pretty smart. Mm. I guess let's go like this. Let's go like this. Just set up for next turn. If we don't top the like, revolutionary army, I'm kind of screwed. That's the second Gedatsu. There's the Bosco Mochi. And I think I'm done then, right? And they get the blocker bullet. So yeah, they just they found they found the answers that they needed. They found the answers that they needed. Um we can go Kuma, I guess. And just pop their blocker. And try to set up again for next turn. The Gedatsus are really problematic. Opponent could have another Yamato, alright. Sure. Oh, we could, have, we could have popped one of their units. They can't, they can't kill us here. Oh, this is risky. Okay, we got another one. That's awesome. So, uh, let's just discard this. All right, all right. One, two, three, four. The opponent has El Tor open right so the opponent has el tor available uh we can go ahead and throw this guy one two three eight el tor is gonna take them to nine five 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 cards how can we do this five 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 we will have to get up to seven 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 eight 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 nine Yes, let's start with the seven. I know that the opponent has El Tor, right? Opponent definitely has El Tor. So I kind of just want them to use it. Like, I don't know that there's anything that we can do at this point, to be honest. Like, opponent just had the double Yamato, so I never found, like, my room to do what I needed to do. Maybe that turn where I just went and gave them the two life was a mistake. Let's go seven again. Okay. So now the opponent can just block one of these, right? So the, the only way that I get this is going for six, hoping that the opponent has no counters. And then we go nine. Oh, I won. I actually won. <laughs> so the opponent didn't have El Tor. They just didn't have, a, they just had a bad hand. Like what could they have in their hand? Like, if we look at my NL deck, like, what could they have in their hand? I guess, like, Karakuri, other Yamatos, NLs. They could have events, as long as it's not El Tor, 7 cost Big Mom. Wow, they actually didn't have anything there. I was, I mean, I kept playing it just to play it, but I thought that match was doomed, right? The moment that the opponent had double Yamato and they never took our life, so they were able to just play Gedatsu, Gedatsu twice. And the Yamatos to pop everything? I just, I thought it was done. We'll take those. GG's. In this match, we're going against Enel. Opponent chose to go first, which is good for us. Um, let's... I like the Cracker, and I like this Moody. No, let's mold again. I need to find my Bello Betty. So we still get this Moody, right? And we get the Bello Betty on top of that. So we can go Bello Betty. Uh, we can go with Vankov here. Pass, end the turn. I want the opponent to attack into me. Because if they attack into me, I'll be at 3 life. Which means that the Gedatsu cannot kill my 4 cost units. And there we go. That's a big mistake in my opponent that the opponent just did there. You want to keep me at 4 life. 
so that you can kill my stuff with Gedatsu. Because now if you have a Gedatsu, you're not doing anything, right? Um, do we go Smoothie first? I think I like Smoothie first. I think I like this Smoothie first. We can play Ivanka next turn and then summon Karatsu. Opponent's going to continue attacking into me and we get the trigger. So now we even got the double attack here. Uh, let's trash the second cracker. You want to keep your revolutionary cards so that you're able to actually pop the opponent. So now here's the opponent's problem. This is the double attack unit. <laughs> and it's going to be a 9k unit. So we can just go and attack them for 9k. What if we just go for 11k, man? Just take the whole shabang. So 11k means 2 down, which means that leaves me with 4. We can go Ivankov and give the 3k to Ivankov instead so that we can also summon the Karatsu. Or we could play the blocker so that we play around the Cracker swinging back at us and killing us. I'm uh, sorry, we can play the Sanji, not the Cracker. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Um, let's go ahead and throw this Karatsu away. I think I'm going to commit for the Sanji. I'm going to commit for the Sanji here. So uh, let's go. I think I want to make sure that I don't get punished by... So this is 8, 9, 10, right? Let's make sure that we don't get punished. Sorry, 11. Let's make sure we don't get punished by the opponent having like a Thunderbolt. So I want to attack with this one first. We can attack for 5 here. Let the opponent get the restand. They need to counter out here. Ah, they got it. All right. So they got the Thunderbolt out of that one. We attack for five again here. And they block on that one. And then we go Sanji. I was, I was scared of the Thunderbolt if I didn't attack with Cracker first. Opponent got it on the last life. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I'll trash my life. Wait, what? Yeah, I just trashed my life. You can kill that one. I have the Inazuma, so I can get Rush here. I'm going to have to give them the 1k here. And then another 1k. Ugh. Okay, this is not pretty. This is not pretty. Because, uh, I mean, opponent has... I'm losing next turn, right? I'm losing next turn. So this is eight. I'm losing next turn no matter what, right? I'm sorry, this is this is eight, right? Yeah, this is eight because I, I don't have less than the opponent. So I guess let's go for nine. If the opponent gets another Thunderbolt or a beige, I just lose. Wow. Wait, so actually, I should just attack for eight here. I should attack for eight here. Please don't be a blocker. Okay, so the Inazuma can have Rush. That's going to be four. Four, five, six, seven, six. All right, let's go for six. If the opponent has the 2K, they have the 2K. Yeah, I can't, I can't beat that, right? I cannot beat that 2K. And uh, I guess we just play the Inazuma. And just go for the seven. And if the opponent so opponent can kill us next turn, so they just win the game. Yeah, they even have an additional attacker. So they had the double 2k. Yeah, I mean, I, I tried to take a gamble, just didn't pay off, right? So that's fine. We can still no, we cannot survive. We could have survived with everything except for another attacker. Like if we had a blocker here, maybe. If we had another blocker, maybe. I guess maybe I, I could have won that. I could have won that. I think I just I think I obviously the the big mom was a punish, but the Thunderbolt was the biggest punish. Like that second Thunderbolt just completely blew us out. That's that Thunderbolt from life blew us out. Otherwise, I think we would have been in a really decent spot to actually just get there. Yeah, we'll pick the Ivankov, send the rest. We can go Kuma Kuma, I guess, or we can go Morley. It's hard because we have to get. To, I mean, opponent's making the same mistake that they made last time, that I was talking about, where um, 
they don't get to actually kill my rank of anymore. So maybe we actually like I kind of want to put the Kumas down and just have like these attackers. But the Kuma can pop their. We can also just go Mar uh, Limburg instead. I think I'm gonna go Limburg instead. Maybe I just need to play the Ivanko right away. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong, right? So the Gadatsu kills the Belobetti. That's fine. Like, I just need to go ahead and do that, right? What we can do here is that we can play Ivankov into Koala and be able to actually pop the Gadatsu. Yeah, so we can go like this. Go here. Uh, I think I, I guess I want to play. No, I do want to play this Kuma, right? I want to play this Kuma. No, the Kuma can be the Kuma can wait. I guess we can go like this. Let's go in Asuma. Let's go here. And uh, we can go like this. And attack with the bet Betty. When it gets the Shirahoshi, which doesn't matter to me. Thunderbolt goes bye bye. You want to counter this one? They're they're relying on their triggers. They're relying on the triggers, which I think is the right thing to do. We don't have another koala, so we can now pop that Sanji. We can pop. Yeah, I mean, I, I blocked this one, right? I will block that one again. Get that too. It is a lot of damage, and you rested your blocker. You rested your blocker. This is a ton of damage. You can kill the Shirahoshi. Do I want to have the Marley? Hmm. Nah. Who are we kidding, right? Who are we kidding? We can get this for free. And be able to have another rusher. So we have a bunch of attacks here. So this is eight, eight, seven. Let's go nine. So that we can. Oh, wait. You know what? Before I do that, let's go here and just play this down just in case. Just in case that the opponent has the Thunderbolt, right? So let's go like this. We probably should have played Limber second, but if he's a roulette, we can still pin punish that. Let's go for nine here again. I wanted to give me that. Okay, they don't have it. Wait a second. They don't have it. I guess they can now have the blocker, unfortunately, for us. So let's go nine one more time. Oh, this is eight. So this can get punished by the thing. I, I thought this was nine for some reason, but it was only eight. They block it. They block it. Guess we'll go like this. Nine. There's the L Tor, and then we go five. And we win because the opponent has a bunch of Yamatos and Karakuris in their hand. The Sanji blocker almost did me in, right? The Sanji blocker almost did me in, so I need to be a little bit more careful with that. Uh, I chose to go second this time. I like this hand. I really like this hand. I'm going to mulligan. I'm going to greet it out. I'm going to greet it out. And continue to find for my to continue to look for my stuff, right? Let's just have the unit on the field. Opponent should not attack me. They attack me. So they attack me and they get punished. Because now I get another unit. Uh we can go here. Or do we go cracker first? We can also go Limburg, right? Let's go here first. Opponent gets their own cracker. I guess we could do both, right? We could play the Ivankov here. And then get the Limburg for next turn. But I think the opponent will know what is happening. So I think I'd just rather play the Limburg for now. And uh and wait until next turn to attack. This is interesting. I don't want to give them the life so that they can go for their cracker stuff. I think I just go like this. I think I go here. 
and just wait for next turn and then have the Limburg. I'm not gonna get value for my bank of this game, I don't think. Thunderbolt? All right. I mean, they, they had to take a life to do that. They had to trash a life to do that. So that's why they did it. So they could go for the double attack. I think I'll take it. I think I'll take it. So I'll take it. We can go ahead and play this and that can KO the Brulee. And then we can just KO the Cracker or kill the Cracker. Problem is this is six. Yeah, I guess we'll go like this. Uh, let's stretch the Karatsu. This is five. Let's have the opponent try to use their stuff here. Okay, they go for it. If I attack twice, the opponent just gets to... Uh... I guess I'll go like this, have them take the life. And they will just pass. I mean, I was going to pass anyways. I was not attacking into you. So that's a waste of a bait. You could have just kept that in your life. Um, can we can we beat them next time? Can we beat them next time? Opponent has four cards. I think so. I think so, right? Uh, we can just save this. So one, two, three, four. Uh, this is going to be dicey. So this opponent has four cards. This is five, eight, ten, five. Let's go seven. Thunderbolt, blocker, altor. No, they couldn't, uh, they couldn't use the altor. So nine. When it has to counter out of this one, you have the blocker now. It's all about the triggers. Like these yellow matchups are all about the trigger. An opponent doesn't get it. So then we go all in on Sabo and Sabo wins us the game. Woo! All right, all right. So yeah, I mean we got we got to see the matchups here again against Anel. Like we got multiple matchups. I think it's not a bad matchup for us, right? I think if the opponent attacks into us and we go to three life, it makes their Gadatsu not be able to kill my four drops. So if I'm the NL player here, by the way, I think this is one of the matches where you actually don't want to attack their life. You want to keep them at four life, especially against Bello Betty, because she runs out of resources very quickly. Don't attack their life. Just let them, because not only do I have a bunch of triggers in my life, but it means that your Gedatsu and your Yamato are not able to then kill my units if you're able to, if you're attacking to my life. So from the NL player, I think this player messed up a couple times. Uh, we did lose one game against them, but I think we just that was us kind of misplaying a little bit but yeah you got to see here the matchup against nl and see how that how that goes so ggs in this match we're going against the mirror i think i definitely want to go second okay this small and this hand is not great okay we got a double bello betty so this is uh that with this hand looks amazing right we can go bello betty bello betty we can play something else etc etc opponent gets their bello betty and they have the karasu all right going Going second is what you want to do with this Bello Betty deck because you have a lot of four drops, right? So we can go like this and uh, hmm. they don't really have a lot of blockers, right? They don't have a lot of blockers. So I think I'm actually liking the Inazuma here. I'm going to tell you one thing though. Both of us have a lot of triggers in our deck. So, uh, and this, this Limburg is what you want to see. A lot of us, both of us have a lot of triggers in our deck. So this is actually going to be uh, kind of crazy. Because it's going to be whoever, whichever one of us can hit the triggers first. Or maybe the opponent is playing a different version. You may trash one card. Okay, maybe the opponent is different, playing a different version. Top three card. Okay, so they have... We know they have... Okay, they, was, they also whipped there. We know they have the Karasu. It's hard to say whether the opponent should actually go for it. Because again, there's a lot of triggers that we have. I will say that I kind of probably want to navigate this kind of like if we're playing. Let's navigate this as if we're playing a mirror against Soul. Right? 
think 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 that we're playing like a mirror against Zoro here. Like you probably don't want to attack first. That's how I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this as like, hey, you don't want to attack first, right? I, I guess I can attack here for five, but like you want to clear their units. So you want them to attack into you first. That way you then clear all their units. So like, I'm just going to play for a Borg Sentry game and not attack with my units because I want to swim back once the opponent rests their units. We know that the opponent has Karatsu. This deck burns very fast through cards because you have to keep continue trashing. Yeah, so they go for the Karatsu. By the way, I didn't realize that this can actually give minus one to leader. I just learned something new. So this can actually give minus one to leader. That's hot. <laughs> That's so hot. Yeah, so the opponent can quote unquote kill us here. The problem is that I think opponent is just going to straight up die. Like they won't be able to keep a boar anymore. Do I even want to play this Moody? I, I guess so. Like I can just swim back. So this is an eight. We can, this is a five. We can take this one. We can block this one. Okay, opponent's not even gonna attack. All right, so that so like I don't get it. Uh, I guess opponent's just gonna look to like just kill us. But I mean, we still have this blocker, and now we can just kill your units here. Let's keep the Limburg as the last one that we attack with, right? So we can go like this for two. So we can go like this for two. Go like this for three. We can go Koala and just pop the Caruso. Opponent has to top the like revolutionary car for them to really get value. Mm. Let's go for five first. Let's go for five first. See if the opponent gets a trigger. Actually, you know, most of their triggers require them to discard a car. So I think it's very likely that the opponent doesn't have a trigger that they can use. They will have to like use it right now, right? So now here we can go Koala into this guy, and then we can attack for eight and pop the Karatsu. Now the opponent could find the trigger here, but we still have this blocker. So because we still have this blocker, I don't think opponent can beat us anymore. And that's the game, right? Opponent only, I mean, I guess the opponent could have the Inazuma Rusher, but I think we just win this. Yeah, like again, it's kind of like playing a Sorrow Mirror. Whoever attacks first ends up kind of losing. The opponent countering out that very first leader attack that I did was a little bit weird with the 1k. Like, I feel like you want to take that card because you know that your deck runs out of resources very quickly because you're like trashing cards every time you want to use the Bello Betty ability or anytime you want to use a trigger. So GG. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoy those games of Bello Betty. Honestly, that in no matchup is really tough to navigate in my opinion. Like I think it's I think it's actually really hard. It, it all depends on whether the opponent has is smart enough to not attack into your life and have that get that soon that Yamato. I still have no idea how the heck we won that very first game. The next set of games was a little bit easier because again, the opponent attacked into us, which means that we were always at three life and we didn't have to worry about like a Gedatsu killing our Ivankov or a Limburg or something like that. Opponent had to use stuff like Thunderbolt. So again, like I was talking about in the, in the games, if you're the NL player, don't attack into the Battle Betty life. Let them go run out of resources, right? Slowly clear their bow with, the Gedatsu, with your Gedatsus uh, and your Yamatos, right? Which is kind of what the first player did. Unfortunately, they kind of ended up having a really bricky hand. So we were able to steal somehow, find the answer to just win the game, which is kind of crazy to me that how that happened. But yeah, so anyways, that's that's it for my Bello Betty Showcase. This list, I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm down to play this in locals. I don't think I'm brave enough to bring this to like a big regional, but I'm definitely down to play it in like locals and just gonna take people by surprise. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this. Tomorrow we're gonna continue with OPO5, probably gonna move on to Corazon uh, or Rocinante. So yeah, hope you stick around for that. If you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy your day and I'll see you tomorrow.